The statement signed by the group's branch chairman at the University of Lagos, Dele Ashiru, expresses reservations about how Professor Magbare's issue has been handled. It says the views expressed by the Nigerian professor should have been viewed purely within the context of academic freedom. The group quotes Articles 3 and 4 of the Kampala Declaration on Intellectual Freedom and Social Responsibility to back its argument. Those provisions, according to the statement, protect African intellectuals from harassment, persecution and intimidation on the basis of opinion or nationality. The Academic Staff Union of Universities in Nigeria further calls on authorities of the UEW and relevant government agencies to ensure the safety of Professor Magbara's life and property. It cautions strongly that, should anything happen to him, both the UEW and the government of Ghana would be held responsible. The group is also quick to add that Ghana and Nigeria's relations hangs in the balance as a result of this development. Let's stay a while longer on this story and speak with Peter Anti, who is Executive Director for the Institute of Education Studies, joining us on the phone lines. Hello, sir. Thank you. You're live on Media Live on TV3. Thank you. Good yeah, so we've had a retaliation from the Nigerian group. Would you describe it um, as something that is necessary looking at the time? Uh, well, uh, what I would what to say is that it's, it's rather unfortunate that things are turning out this way. This is because we know in the academic community there's this sort of exchange between universities uh, where lecturers and senior members go to other universities, either in the country or outside the country, especially for the arts sabbaticals, and sometimes even for PhD programs, let's say programs, conferences, and all those things. What we have to understand is that each of these individual universities that uh, these senior members and lecturers and other people visit have their own standards, they have their own rules, and they have their own ways of doing things. So if someone falls short of the standards and the rules and regulations of that university, the university has the power to deal with the person as they seem fit, irrespective of whether the person is a national, I mean, it's from the country or coming from the outside country. There, there shouldn't be any uh, discrimination in terms of how uh, punishment is meted out to that particular person. So if, according to EUW, they think that the comments and the actions of the professor is not in line with their standards and their rules and regulations, they have the right to deal with the, the professor the best, the, 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 in the way that they deem fit. It therefore becomes very unfortunate when another group from the academic community think that the person is being victimized because of where he or where he is coming from. So that is where our 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 our, our problem is coming from. Because if the Ghanaian is in Nigeria, in the Nigerian university, University of Lagos, Euroline or whatever university, and the person does something that is contrary to the rules and regulations of that particular university, we will expect that the person is dealt according to the rules and regulations of that university and not because he's a Ghanaian he should be let go. Mm. So, Ghana and Nigeria share a lot of exchanges ac and academic credentials. How do you think the upside of this is going to affect the relationship we have and are trying to establish? Personally, I don't think it should, it should affect this kind of academic relation. I have to say that um, the, the professor who taught me in my, in my school program was a Nigerian. She came from Nigeria to come and do uh, her sabbatical year. And Professor Odin, she is a very brilliant woman and very accommodating. So this kind of relationship will continue to happen. I don't think this uh, experience from UEW should mar any relationship that any university have with other foreign universities. We, we just have to caution members that whatever you do, you should know that you are subjected to the laws and regulations of the institution that you are working with. And therefore, you should make sure you play according to the rules and regulations of the university. Thank you very much for speaking with us. Peter Patianti is Executive Director of the Institutes of Education Studies.